Welcome, dear viewers, to another electrifying edition of Interlink Insight with your anchor, Dennis, where we dive headfirst into the most riveting updates straight from the heart of breaking news. Today, we're about to unravel a story that's sending shockwaves through the medical community and beyond. Hold on to your seats, folks, because what I'm about to reveal will leave you stunned. Brace yourselves for the latest jaw-dropping headlines. TV, Dr. Tijon Esho, exchange Botox for sex with a patient. Doctor, Dr. Tijon Esho, a familiar face on your screens, renowned for his expertise in cosmetic treatments, has found himself at the center of a scandal that's rocked the foundation of trust. Yes, you heard it right. A medical tribunal has uncovered shocking details of Dr. Esho's misconduct. This isn't just any scandal, folks. We're talking about a doctor who's graced the sets of ITV's This Morning, BBC's Morning Live, and E4's iBuddy Fixers. Imagine, the very doctor you trusted to enhance beauty caught in the web of controversy. It's a tale of betrayal and broken trust as doctor. Esho stands accused of exchanging Botox for sexual favors with a patient at his clinic in Newcastle. Can you believe it? The very essence of professionalism tarnished by such egregious actions. Despite his denial of physical involvement, the Medical Tribunal Practitioner Service, MTs, has delivered its verdict, confirming the exchange of treatment for sexual gratification. Shocking, isn't it? But wait, there's more. The panel, after meticulous scrutiny, uncovered instances of sexual intercourse at the clinic premises and previous consultations, painting a picture of misconduct driven by sexual motives. What's even more alarming is the revelation that Dr. Esho purportedly claimed he could get away with such despicable acts. It's a breach of trust that leaves us questioning the integrity of those we put our faith in. Now, as the dust settles, the fate of Dr. Tijian Esho hangs in the balance. Will justice prevail? Will his fitness to practice be deemed impaired due to his reprehensible conduct? The saga continues and will keep you updated every step of the way. But hey, dear viewers, before we wrap up, Remember, your voice matters. Engage with us, share your thoughts, and join the conversation. Like, comment, and hit that subscribe button for more gripping updates and exclusive insights. Until next time, stay tuned to Interlink Insight, your gateway to the pulse of breaking news. This is Dennis, signing off.